Na tukiachana na taarifa hiyo ni kwamba muungano wa Koda chini ya Kaulimbiu ya Oko wa Kenya umezindua mpango wa kukusanya saini milioni moja kwa lengo la kutaka kushinikiza kufanyika kwa kura ya maamuzi na upania eh, kuifanyia katiba mara kibisho. Viongozi mbali mbali ya kiwemo Bimatha Karua, Richard Liki, John Gidongo na Peter Kenneth ni miongoni mwa wale waliounga mkono mpango huu. Na kama anavyotuarifu mwanahabari Mohamed Mahmoud, je, uwepo wa viongozi hawa kuna maanisha nini katika ari ya kodi ya kutaka kuishinikiza kufanyika kwa kura ya maamuzi? Muungano wa COD umezindua rasmi shughuli ya ukusanyaji saini milioni moja chini ya vuguvugu la oko wa Kenya. Shughuli hii inapania kuleta mabadiliko katika katiba. Ni hafla iliwavutia viongozi mbali mbali akiwemo kiongozi wa chama cha National Congress Party Peter Kenneth aliyewakilishwa na naibu wake Ronnie Osumba kinara wa na Kenya Martha Karua aliyekuwa afisa wa tume ya maadili John Gidongo na aliyekuwa mkuu utumishi wa umma Richard Liki Somebody asked me what's going to happen are we going to end up with the two referendums or is it going to be one and I said I don't know we have cut a bipartisan working relationship within Senate and we are going to surprise many people as the Senate of Kenya once the referendum question is put Muungano wa kodi unanuia kufanyia marekebisho katiba hasa ikizingatia masala ya kufutilwa mbali kwa tume huru ya uchaguzi na mipaka ya IEBC, usalama wa taifa, suala la ardhi, wakilishaji wa jamii zote serikalini na kuongezwa kwa fedha za serikali za ugatuzi kutoka asilimia 15 hadi asilimia 40. When the government says no without reason, Kenyans can say yes through a referendum. We are no longer helpless. And we need not feel frustrated because the constitution gives us a framework. We have all come to a point, whether we voted for Jubilee or we voted for God, of agreeing that accept and move on is not the mantra. The mantra is change. We must change, we must come together and change the direction that this country has taken. Kulingana na jopo maalum la matarishu wa kure ya maamuzi, wataandaa mapendekezo ya kura ya maamuzi kisha mapendekezo hayo kupelekwa kwa washikadau kwa masala ya katiba na kuangaliwa kwa kina baada ya hapo watatumia mapendekezo hayo kuandaa mswada ambao utafikishwa kwa tume ya uchaguzi ya IEBC pamoja na saini milioni moja baada ya mswada huo utapelekwa kwa serikali za kaunti ili kupigiwa kura pale mswada huo utakapoungwa mkono na kaunti zisizopungua 24 utarejeshwa tena kwa bunge la taifa na la seneti kupitishwa kwa tuluthi tatu na kuwa sheria iwapo mswada huo hautapitishwa bungeni utarejeshwa kwa wakenya na shughuli ya kufanyika kwa kura ya maamuzi kutekelezwa mara moja therefore kenya is about looking at that 20% that kenyans were given a promise that would be sorted out And when we finally got a constitution that replaced the old one, many felt to Mishinda. Lakini to Mishinda because it has not been implemented fully. Hukumu ungano wa kodi kijaribu kila juhudi kuhakikisha kwamba kura ya maoni inafanyika, serikali ya jubilee kwa upande wake inapinga. Lakini je kuungwa mkono kwa wanasiasa wengine kutoka mirengo tofauti itasaidia code kwa fiki ndoto yao ya kura ya maoni Muhammad Mahmoud KTN Leo Nairobi